Hello, Saints fans. We bring you exciting and detailed news about the start of training camp. Coach Dennis Allen has confirmed that this Wednesday we will see defensive end Chase Young participating in some form of practice A on the field. Chase Young, only 25 years old, signed a one-year, $13 million contract with the Saints on March 18th of this year. This signing took place just a day before it was revealed that Young needed neck surgery. Despite this news, the Saints were fully informed about the need for surgery before making the contract, and they remain confident that Young will be ready for the start of the regular season. An interesting aspect of Young's contract is that more than half of his salary is tied to active roster bonuses, underscoring the importance of his recovery and participation in games. Young was drafted in 2020 by the Commanders, where he had an outstanding rookie season that earned him a Pro Bowl appearance and the Defensive Rookie of the Year award. However, since then, his career has had ups and downs. Young has never surpassed 7.5 sacks in a season and has a total of 16.5 sacks in his four years in the NFL. Last season, the Commanders traded him to the 49ers in exchange for a third-round pick in the 2024 draft. During the offseason, Young found a somewhat cold free agent market, which seems to have served as additional motivation. Saints general manager Mickey Loomis has expressed his satisfaction with the effort and dedication Young has shown in his rehabilitation. Yeah, I've been impressed with how hard he's worked to complete his rehab and his positive attitude in integrating with the team, Loomis commented. I feel this is a player who feels he has something to prove, and often when you're a high draft pick, that's hard to recapture. The Saints have been very careful with Young's return to action. Loomis has assured that the team will not rush his recovery process, emphasizing the importance of Young being fully prepared and in top shape before returning to play. In other team-related news, coach Dennis Allen expects several key players to also participate in the first training camp practice. Among them are defensive end Tano Pasanian, who is recovering from an Achilles tendon injury, linebacker Nephi Sewell, who is overcoming an ACL injury, and tight end Juwan Johnson, who has been dealing with a foot injury. All these players are currently on the active slash PUP list, and their participation in practice is a positive sign of their progress. Additionally, wide receiver Chris Olavi, who was placed on the non-football injury list last week due to a back injury, will also have some activity during practice. Olavi's participation is good news for fans, as he is a key piece in the Saints' offensive attack. We are eager to see how these players develop in training camp and hope their return further strengthens the team. Don't miss more updates and exclusive news about the Saints. Subscribe to our channel, like the video, and leave us your opinion in the comments. We want to know what you think about these developments and what you expect for the upcoming season. See you in the next video, Saints fans.